Hey guys, this is my video review for the Klortz Men's Performance Trail Running Shoes. This is the model number 3F011A. These are the BOA technology shoes. So we're going to take a look at this. I just got this out of the box, uh, took out the, the packaging. And you know what I can say is, looking at this, this is pretty cool. I actually knew the colors that I chose when I looked at this on Amazon. Um, and looking at it in person, it doesn't disappoint either. It actually doesn't look as bright as how the photos on Amazon look. I think they kind of edited the photos to make it look a lot more brighter. This has a little dimmer look, but it actually doesn't look too bad. I actually like how it looks preferably here. A lot of different layers of the orange coloring here. It looks very much, and you have the, the brand name here, which is pretty cool. It's very easy to identify these shoes, aside from the stylistic, stylistic design of this. Uh, I'm going to show how it looks like around each side here. So this is the outer side here. You have the ball technology here, which we'll go over later. This is how the front looks. There's how the front toe protection looks like. Here's the inner side. Here's the back. And here is the front top view. Here's the steel wire laces here. The BOA technology is here, which we'll look at later. And here's how the bottom looks. Very interesting designs for the studs here. Um, to help a lot with the traction. And I think every shoe has a little bit of a different design. This one has a interesting look to it. Uh, what I can say first is very vibrant shoes. So if you're not the type of person who likes to get noticed, you don't want these types of shoes. You want your solid color shoes. But the reason why I decided to pick this out is because I want to get a shoe that's not like a shoe that I can find at the local shoe store. If I'm going to buy something online that's a special order, I want to make sure I get something that's hard to find. And in this case, I've gone to shoe stores before. They don't really have these types of style colors. You'll have like your whites, your grays, your blacks, and your blues. Unless you get your premium Nike style designs, you won't really find a shoe that has this type of color design and layout. And it's very interesting how it looks like. It looks very much like the Marathon Runner shoes. Uh, I like this person, this color design. It took a while to look to find this. I'm very glad I did. Um, so yeah. That's color is very fantastic. I like how it looks. It goes well with a lot of different types of apparel that you wear. Um, has a nice deep contrast, especially if you wear like your navy colored shoes. I mean, navy colored jeans, or uh, you're wearing your sweats. It has a very distinguished contrast. Um, looking at the material here, you'll see very up close. This is very mesh. This is a mesh material here. And that's there to help breathe. It has like these mini holes for you to, your feet to breathe through to help cool your feet as much as possible. As you know, when you since these are running shoes, when you run a lot, you do perspire and sweat. And this is to help uh, have the airflow when you're running to help keep your feet as cool as possible, cool and dry as possible. You have your loop here to hang them up when you want to after washing them. Um, you have your steel laces here. These laces, uh, from the research that I read into about them, they're very hard to cut and they don't wear down. Um, you have your BOA technology here, which essentially if I press this in, I think I already pressed it in already, but let me pull this out. Pull it out, you hear the click. When you pull it out, you can loosen this up. When you put your foot in, you can loosen up the tongue here and expand it out, expand the, the, the cables out, the wires, I mean. Um, and then when you want to put your foot in, which I'll show later in demonstration, you're going to click this, you hear the click, and you're going to rotate it, I'll show it here. Right, I can see from this angle it's starting to compress, press the top, and compress it a lot. So essentially this is to replace the laces that you normally use for regular shoes where 
you have to tie the bunny ears or something. And then after running or a lot of vigorous activity, it loosens up, you have to retighten them. This one, once you turn this knob and tighten it, it's gonna stay that way for you know however long that you wear the shoes. It's not gonna loosen up. The only way it's gonna loosen up is if you pop this out. Let me try it. No, I'm wearing the shoes, so it's a little hard to do it. There you go. It's a lot easier once you wear the shoe, probably, because I'm, I'm like, it's like empty in here, so that's why I'm pulling hard. So once you do that, just expand it out from the tongue, push it out, and you loosen it up again. So that's pretty neat. I think that's pretty neat. These come with a lifetime warranty, too. So if the cable's cut or this bowl of technology gets damaged, you just show them your uh, order history and receipts, and they'll probably replace it for you. That's what the the attachments told me, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? So shoe test. Let's see how it goes. So try to bend here. See where the toe box lands. Where the toe box bends actually. So it bends roughly here, which is where the ball of your feet is, which is pretty good. As long as it's towards this front top. Uh, front quarter area, you should be good to go. That's right where you bend your ball of feet. So that's good. Uh, heel counter. Heel counter is not totally stiff. It's somewhat, it's pretty stiff, which is good. Gives you some uh, good control here. Their heel. Um, doesn't compress in as much, so that's good. I, I wouldn't want a shoe that's, that squishes in like a sponge here, especially a new shoe. Uh, I'm gonna try to twist. So it doesn't really twist inwards that much. There is some flexibility that I notice here. And most likely because of the mesh material, it's, it's just soft and flexible, but the shoe doesn't twist like a, like a rag. So that's good. So overall, this looks like a nicely constructed shoe. I think that in terms of the twists, for better motion control, I wouldn't want it to twist this much, but it's okay. I think more so, I would agree. At least two out of three tests is very good. Um, so these are good design shoes. We're gonna try them out in a bit, wear them on. Hopefully my camera will be able to um, Coming close enough, I'm using a little flexipod right now. Hopefully, I can get it close enough so you can see how it looks, and then I'll wear it around right now. Most likely, I'm gonna wear it indoors with some light because outside it's getting dark, and I can't really bring this camera out to record myself outside very well. So we're gonna try it out from there. All right, thanks for watching. We're gonna continue on. Okay guys, so this is my continuation of trying out these Clarks Boa shoes. So we're gonna try this out. Hopefully, let me see where the camera is. I gotta make sure that I don't cut this off. Okay. So we're gonna try this shoe since it's the closest to the camera. I already loosened it up. And when you loosen it, you can turn this knob around back and forth, it does nothing. So that's how you know that's loosened. And I already pulled out the top. So put the, slip this through. through. I normally wear a size, well actually I currently wear a Brooks Adrenaline 15 size 10 and a half wide. This is a size 10 because that's the highest that I'll go and it actually fits me just well. I ha I see that the, the my big toe is right here so it's like a little, it's just about the right comfort. So their size 10 will fit people most likely who wear a size 10 to 10 and a half. So that's just something to let you guys know about. So, we're gonna try this out. So, we're gonna push this in. Let's turn it. Clockwise. I'm gonna show a different angle later. There you go, you can't go any more than that. Let's see how it feels. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty snug in there. It's not too tight around the ankles, but it's very snug. Very snug, it's not loose either. Back of the heel. Make fit. 
Uh, I can't even fit one finger through it all the way in. I can fit it about up to here. So that's a pretty good snug fit. Fit the thumb slightly inwards. It looks pretty good. That's how it looks. So again, when I pull it up, there you go. Push up the tongue. And slide the foot up, just like that. Just like that. I'm gonna try this angle, show one more time. Hopefully this is still on the camera. Show it this angle with the laces, the I mean the wire, so I'm gonna close it, crank it up. You see it compress, hopefully the camera caught it, it's compressed. I can't go any more than that. There you go. Can't really fit my thumb on each side that much. And there you go. It's perhaps now I can move it around pretty good. Okay. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have one of those special tools that you see those YouTubers and all those video folks do where they can record themselves on their own or I don't have any helpful staff to do that. So this is probably as far as I'll go. I can't really show you guys going on any adventures with these shoes on, but just want to show you how they look like. Definitely how the functionality looks, how they look like. See if you guys are interested. I think that I thought, I think they're pretty cool. I think this is my show, my navy color blue pants right now. I'm gonna pop this in, crank it up. There you go. There you go. Pretty slick fit. And there you have it. Two shoes on. Look pretty cool. I like it. And the next, uh, next best thing besides this is just having them light up. <laughs> but maybe uh, the brand will have that once. That becomes more trendy. I know that there's certain light up shoes right now, but they might not be the most comfortable shoes. These shoes are great for how they're styled, and the ball technology, ball technology is pretty good. So uh, I think that's part of the more review. Let's see. Very flexible. I can move in. It, my foot, my feet do feel like. They're slightly floating a little bit on the back side, but you know, my foot's not coming out. We can let's see if we can crank this up more. And crank the right foot a little bit more. My foot can't. Yeah, so it feels pretty good. So again, I normally wear size 10 and a half. Uh, this is a size 10 from this brand overseas. And um, it fits me just right, so just keep that in mind. I think over there they, they tend to think that people over here have a lot of small feet, so they don't go past a size 10 in US terms. It's just kind of strange because I know a lot of people who even wear size 11 and onwards. Um, but hopefully, if you guys can fit these shoes and give them a try, I think this is pretty good. Yeah. I think this is probably as far as my video review will go based upon the limitations I have. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, I will share the link to the product page and check them out. Alright, thanks a lot guys. and we'll just end the video after that.
Thanks.